the the headline is how a total ban on Chinese drones could set back wildfire fighting in the U.S. USA. And my first thought when I saw this plenty was there is no talk uh, of a complete ban on the importation of consume of Chinese drones, but there is talk about doing that for the federal government. Yeah. Um, and then state governments as well. So basically any government entities. And so the concern is that um, if a ban like that totally went through, basically there's been advisement not to do it from certain parties, certain government uh, entities are not allowed to do it, but currently like a state government could order the drones. Um, but they are currently worried that they're not going to be able to order DJI drones because unfortunately there's not a lot of good solutions, especially in their price ranges um, to solve issues like wildfire management. Um, and they're yeah. pointing out that like, uh, you know, the federal government, like the FBI, the CIA have different use cases and different security restrictions for drones than someone like the LA fire department. And they yeah. shouldn't be under the same restrictions as the, the a blanket ban on drones like that for government entities would not help anyone. Um, it would just hinder their progress and their ability to do their job. So they're kind of like letting people know that and making that known. So, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a, always going to be a cost benefit analysis or a risk benefit analysis. And when you say that you don't want uh, actual service members flying DJI drones, well, you see what happened where uh, DJI stopped, uh, they stopped sales into Ukraine, for example, uh, because of, you know, potential military use there. Uh, and I found myself asking if DJI wanted, could they push a button back in their servers somewhere and make every DJI drone that's registered in Ukraine stop working? Yes or no, Blunty? W what do you think? Like, um, yes, if it reconnects to the internet, I mean, yes, they could. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we I think they, they could we do know that. that they decide. Yeah. We know that that already, because they can decide when your drones an NFZ or not, and they could just, right. you know, submit a thing that will, and we've also seen them lock the drones if they don't have the update before people have connected to the fly safe app and they can't use their drone. They can't fly their drone without going and updating a thing that can't be back updated. So we know they have the ability to do that. So if I am the United States military and I know that service members are officially or unofficially using DJI drones, uh, and I, I'm worried that if someday it comes to a military conflict and that is something they've come to rely on, then suddenly China pushes the button and they lose that capability and then their ability to do whatever they need to do is compromised because they just haven't, they've been, they've, they've, the tool they've come to rely on has been removed. And so it made sense to me when the, when the, uh, when the military said, you know, we don't want you guys using this stuff anymore because in theory, you know, you just got to think of these things. Um, but like when you start coming down to like the United States Forest Service, I'm like, really, what are you actually worried about there? Right. What are you worried yeah. about there? Why not? Yeah, let well, the, and then you're all the way down at the state level now with firefighters. It's like, why? What are you worried about there? Yeah, I think that's part of the fear that they have was that, you know, we're going to get caught by these regulations that, you know, maybe have some basis in reality and are useful. And unfortunately, they're going to um, set back a lot of what they do on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. So, yeah, yeah. hopefully there's a way in between that. Hopefully there's not a blanket ban and they find a way to do that by a group or um, whatever. But there was definitely a lot of talk of the blanket ban, especially during the last administration. So yeah. I don't know that this one's going to be any different. Yeah. I mean, you could argue that they're trying to promote American business, like the Skydios and Teals of the world. Um, but they could also argue whether it's the government's place to pick winners in a market. Well, you know, Teal, which, Teal is trying to make enough drones to say, you know, like basically they're, you know, hey, we can make uh, 500 drones. Can we sell them? You know, like, you know, there's a lot of these companies who aren't necessarily ready to produce orders. For exactly. These people. And, exactly. And the prices. And the prices of them, based on the budgets that they're given, are going to be really huge. You know, like if you consider, like, if I have to buy a ten or twenty thousand dollar drone versus an eight hundred dollar DJI drone, like I can only buy one versus ten. Like that's a exactly. huge difference for for my uh, for what I can do in my budget that I'm given. So. Yeah, I guess what we're saying, Blunty, and I, this is just it's barely news, so any real de in depth analysis is inappropriate. And there's, uh, I think, what we're saying though is there's a lot of pros and cons and concerns here and to simply say oh we're going to ban this without yeah. thinking about what is the actual effect if you ban it and then in the next year there's like three more four wildfires that you could have pre prevented because you banned it 
was that a good trade off? And I think it's right. easy to just be like, well, let's ban the thing from the country that we hate without actually doing the analysis. So, mm. 